everybody. Hi. My name is Mike, Apple Fun Puppetry, and we're going to make a puppet show staged this morning from a cardboard box. Sometimes you you think, oh, I need a fancy puppet show box. Right, Alex? Good morning. But uh, you don't. <clears throat> All you need is a cardboard box. Here's a couple that I made ahead of time. This is a tiny little puppet show. Hello. Little, very, very small. And it's a shoe box, I think. And then this one is bigger, bigger box. Hello. Right. So I'm going to show you how to make a puppet show like this today. And the one we're going to make today is going to be even bigger. And it's going to be one that we can fold up. So I have a big box. Can you even see me? I'm over here. Hi. So you get a big box. And the first thing to do is cut off one side of the box. So if you want your puppet show to be like this. You cut off um, just the widest, one of the widest sides. So that's easy. You just get your scissors. And then you cut off one flap of the box. And save it because you're going to need it later probably. Or you can use it for something else. Right? Okay. So that I'm going to save over there. <clears throat> so here we go. We're going to start with this. I'm going to use the... Uh, the clean side of this um, so that uh, there's no advertising on it and you cut off <clears throat> depending on how big you want the opening of your puppet show to be you cut off one of the flaps okay so I'm gonna do that and again I'm gonna save the piece of cardboard all right so let's just open it up There we go, it's the beginning of a, a puppet show. Next thing to do is to, on this part where I cut this off, I'm gonna cut these side pieces. They'll become the sides of the puppet show. I'm gonna cut them basically in half and cut them off. It doesn't have to be exact. Probably have lots of cardboard boxes around, so you can always, if you make a mistake, you can just get another box and start again. So this is good, this kind of puppet show, because it can fold up nice and flat, and then you can just store it, or if you need to take it somewhere, you can carry it around really easily. So there we go, that's what we have now. So now we need to make something just to stiffen up the sides here. And all I'm going to do is take some of the cardboard that I just cut off and I'm going to put it in here. And I'm going to staple it in so that it makes that... We don't want this to be floppy. We want that to be uh, rigid. So just staple that in. Or you could glue it if you want to. But I'm just doing staples because it's a little bit faster. Good, that's nice and firm now. Now, one of these pieces that I cut off from here, I'm going to use here. Okay, so uh, what you're doing is you're creating um, what's called a proscenium. So this part of the puppet show where the puppets are, the opening where they come through is called the proscenium. And um, I'm going to make a proscenium. It's just a piece of cardboard like this one. I think that's what I'm going to do, but I'm going to make it, I want it to be a little bit longer than the width of my puppet show. So I'm going to cut a long strip of cardboard, and then I'm going to cut another strip, the same width. Good. So I have these two strips of cardboard and I'm going to attach them together in the middle just with staples I think and now the reason I made this a little bit longer than the width let me open this up the reason I made it a little bit longer is because I'm going to make slots and I'm going to slot this in up here so I want it to go over the edges of the thing 
Uh, so, what I do is I put a couple of slots just in the edge up here of the cardboard box. And that's where my proscenium, or proscenium arch is going to go, right in those slots that I cut, right there, and one on this side. And then I just put this in here like this. See? Now, you can also put slots in your proscenium arch if you want to make it slot in even better. There's one. Close up the box. And figure out where you need to, figure out where you need the other one to be. Great. There we go. And then just cut off the extra. If you have an extra, just leave an inch or so on the side. Okay. And the last thing to do is make a curtain in here. So um, on those other ones that I showed you before. I made the curtain out of construction paper. Let's get that out of the way for now. This curtain I'm going to actually make from fabric. So I found some cool fabric this morning. And all I'm going to do is glue it right to the back of that strip of cardboard. In between the two slots that I made, I'm going to glue it uh, to the back of that. And I'm just using hot glue for that, but you could use uh, any kind of glue. You could use uh, glue stick or white glue or anything. And if you want it to look really cool, you can bunch it up as you glue it. And then you'll get a little bit of a pleats, you know, like in your curtains. You'll get some pleats in there and it'll look a little bit better probably. And the way I'm doing that is I'm just, I'm gluing it down, but then I'm sliding it along to get some pleats in there. And then once your stage is done, like this is the basics of it, you can decorate the outside of your stage however you want. I'm just going to cut off the extra fabric on the side here. There, see we've got a little curtain. Open your stage back up. Put this in there. And there you go. I will just make that. There you go, that's your puppet show. And you could put this up a little higher if you want, which I think might be better. That's good. And there you go, that's how you make a puppet show out of a cardboard box. Decorate the outside of it however you want. Um, but don't decorate it too much. I don't think you, uh, you want to distract from your puppet show by having a really fancy stage. And one more thing you could do is you could add if you put a piece of cardboard right there on the front of the thing, that is like a playboard, it's called. And that's where you can put all of your props and things like that, right? You need to make it a little bit longer than, um, than, your, than your puppet show. And uh, a little bit wider than the puppet show. Okay, so that's basically how you do that. Let me get a puppet and I'll show you how it works. stuck on the curtain there for a second. Wow, this is a nice puppet box. I bet it folds up. How convenient. Haha. <laughs> Good. All right, everyone. That's how you make a very easy, portable puppet stage. Watch how fast it folds up. There you go. You can take this wherever you want, or you can just store it underneath your bed or whatever. Do a puppet show whenever you feel like it. Good. That's it. I'll see you next time. My name's Mike, Apple Fun Puppetry. Don't forget to like the video, share the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.